Yo, YouTube was good. Just bringing y'all let uh, update, letting y'all know that I did make a Patreon. Uh, for only five dollars, you will have access to the best blitzes in the game, the best money plays. Cause I have uploaded like three good glitchy blitzes on here just to show y'all that I do bring y'all that fire. I'm still gonna upload blitzes on here, but like as for those type blitzes, now they're gonna be on my Patreon. So the link will be in the description if you want access to that. For five dollars, you'll have access to those blitzes, money plays, and I will be updating that daily almost weekly like almost every day there will probably be a new blitz on there for only five dollars and for ten dollars you will have access to my full defensive guide and i show you i break down everything i do and that will be coming november 15th but without further ado click that link in the description and uh, become a patreon but let's hop straight into this video man yo what's good youtube it's your boy J Man flow part what what is this part three of how to stop shut down any offense in Madden 17. We back at it again, y'all. We just gonna come out in the gun double week, whatever. We gonna do that. First of all, we just gonna review what we talked about last time. Uh, user, make sure you stay in small circles. Do what you do. Uh, set up just baseline press. Uh, man, man, that LB man him up with him, man him up with him. That mainly shuts down any offense. But like, I, oh, here's the other thing, like. Ooh, what do I do in this situation? In this situation, if it's like this, and you baseline and press, this corner will be like this. If this corner, don't ever man up someone like this, because it's, it's just no point. I would do this. Move this guy over. Man this guy up on Witten, just because you want to man people up that when they come across the field, they can catch them. So in this case, I would do something like that, because that's just what I would do in that case. But then, now let's talk about the aggressive catch cheese everybody does. This DB fire to press will stop that. I'm gonna show you why it stops that. Like, I'm gonna just show y'all why. Like, did y'all see what just happened? Y'all like, well, how is that stopping an aggressive catch? It's still one on one. Well, I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Okay, when somebody, uh, let's do this just for the sake of the video, and then let's just block a running back. Like y'all seeing what happening? I'm just, I'm just, and y'all like, oh, you just get getting lucky twice in a row. I'm gonna show y'all why foot, like this is why football, like it's just a concept of football. When you're in cover three or something, and you're like, I keep getting beat, or Champ Bates keep getting beat on aggressive catches, uh, Malcolm Butler keep getting beat on aggressive catches. But they're like five yards off the ball, so by the time, if if someone throws an aggressive catch in Madden, if they're even with you. They they have a probably a better chance of getting that ball, or if they have a step on you and they just hold Y, they probably have a better chance of getting that ball because they are in better position to catch the ball. When you got a safety that's 12 yards off, like look at this. The best person in this position to get the ball is Ladarius Webb. And that's why that's a, the exact reason he goes up and get it. Like look at him. He got Des beat by four yards. And that's why cover two is probably the best way to stop. And y'all see this starts. My bad, y'all. The soft squad that I am picking, if there's no way in a flat, like no one's coming, this corner is just going to trail that guy. That's exactly what's going to happen. And you see how, like, that's Darius Webb. He's slow. He just has naturally, like, look at look at Eric Weddle. Like, you even have Eric Weddle. Like, look at this. He's one of the slowest safeties, and he's managing, like, like look at this. He's managing to keep up with Dez, and that's Eric Weddle. Just because, like, they're 12 yards off the ball, so naturally they're going to have better, uh, they're gonna have better position when they go up and get the ball. That's just a natural thing that's gonna happen. So like I said, we're gonna baseline and press, we're gonna go to our normal setup. And then in this case, I'll probably do this. In this case, I'll probably do that. Because like I said, you don't wanna man someone up. Like I don't wanna man Witten up. Because if Witten does a slant, this guy's all the way over here. He's gonna be chasing him. You don't wanna ever do that. You always wanna man him up across the field. But like I said, when we hike this ball, like if they throw that up, you see Webb just in better position to go get it, y'all. He's always going to have position. That's Des Bryant. So just make sure y'all come out in this soft squad. Make sure, and these are Eric Weddle and Darius Webb. Y'all got better safeties in Mutt, or if y'all playing rank, just make sure y'all got some normal safeties there, some decent speed. But like I said, this is one of the, it's one of the best ways to stop aggressive catch because you're not dependent on a, you're not, you don't have to go out there and buy corners worth 300K, or you don't have to, Pick a team just because they have a good corner because you don't want to get aggressive call. And you shouldn't have to worry about getting aggressive call. So this is why 
this like are you gonna get aggressive calls sometimes yeah but other times like like look it just stops it much better you end up making plays you make things happen that's the first thing so you're gonna come on this db fire to press just trust it like are you gonna get, get aggressive calls sometimes yes but most of the time like if i come on to cover three and i do this and didn't he run this play like now who's gonna have a better position look at this freaking des bryant and that time tony romo has no throw power so of course that doesn't happen but y'all see like y'all just see how des got in much better position to catch that ball than anybody else like i'm gonna just show y'all we hike this ball like you just see how Dez isn't much like and you see how they're trying to give him the animations you get when you get an aggressive catch just because they're in that position like we go here we're just gonna bring this guy down let's do this let's just hike the ball fluff it and y'all just see it like y'all see what happened like Dez can beat him off the rip like look at this he almost he almost did a like that's exactly why i don't really if y'all really want to trust cover three that's on y'all if not uh do what you do uh as like like i said that's on y'all you can probably have safety help most of the time but even like five yards off the ball like y'all see what's happening like it's ridiculous like even fire like you see how des is in much better position like we get the pick there but des has the better position to make those catches so that's why i just trust the db fire to press the soft squats will follow that especially people who like to max protect and just throw it up like the soft squats are going to follow those streaks because no one's coming to the flats and your safeties are going to be in much better position it's just football a basic football now we're going to talk about how to stop the run the first thing you want to do you don't want to pick your play before the offense pick their play they come out with one running back one tight end three wide receivers then you can go to dollar you can go to dime big down two three six do what you do because then they might pass the ball if you see they come out with two running backs two tight ends one wide receiver they're probably running the ball one thing i would suggest is the four three wide nine now this can only be found in a couple of playbooks like i know this can be found in a Bengals playbook uh but where the i uploaded this before but the cover two invert basically shut down any run in the game any run in the game it basically gonna shut it down and this is a basic setup like i said this isn't found in every playbook but i am just going to explain this to people because like if you do have this in your playbook the four three wide nine cover two invert you probably want to use it because you probably don't know you probably have the best run d in the game all you want to do is base the line spread your line spread your linebackers uh crash the middle and qb contain and y'all gonna see why like when they hike the ball you're just gonna see oh oh that time we get gashed for a bunch but it's just really good at forcing everything back to the middle because everyone in this game like y'all gonna notice everyone in this game everyone in this game uh if they don't get to the outside they're not doing much i just like to leave that guy there i usually like to use this guy they don't really like they can't really do much like if they can't get to the outside and run the ball every stretch they get to the outside they hit that edge then they got these 80 yard gains every uh counter they, they try to get to that edge every toss they get to that edge you force everything back inside like then they now they have a problem like you see how this just this just forces them to pass the ball it forces them to find a different offense like everybody know the run game is a bum friendly offense like there's nothing you can do about that you just like look and you see like you force everything back inside so i would just base the line spread my linebackers crash middle qb contain you don't respect your d line and you're just gonna see it's gonna force them you got the middle you feel in the middle they can't do nothing against this run d they get they really can't once you force them to start utilizing more of their playbook and they can't have a bum friendly run then like then you got them beat at that point and we're going to talk about the most common formation that is in most people playbooks the 4-4 four -four. same same type of concept all you're going to do is base the line spread your linebackers uh crash middle qb contain you can spread your linemen too if you like if they're really spamming the counter you can spread them and just crash the middle but you're going to see like them trying this run they can't really do much you have you have run fits on this cover two invert out the four four the only thing you need to watch is this middle if you don't want to watch the middle yourself put that guy in the deep blue use the linebacker then base the line uh spread your line spread your linebackers and crash middle then you can qb contain if you want but that's up to you and i like <laughs> it's just so funny to me that like a lot of people had this formation in their playbook and they're trying to use a three four they're getting gas out of dollar they're just getting gas out of a lot but this is probably the easiest way 
And I know y'all probably most of y'all got the four four in your playbook, but this is just the easiest way to stop the run. So you base the line, spread your line, spread your linebackers, crash middle, QB contain. You can put this guy in a deep blue if you don't want to watch the middle yourself. But I just prefer to use it this guy, and then I can feel better wherever they're going. And you see, it's nothing they can do, and you know what's gonna happen. Soon they can't do nothing. What they gonna do? That's exactly what they gonna do. They gonna be sitting here, and they gonna be like. They playbook gonna pop up with this formation. They're like, well, I can't run on him. Let me let's go to this. Every bum does that. They go to that, they go to four verticals, and then once you see the three running backs, three wide receivers, or three wide receivers, one running back, one tight end, like, okay, they're passing. You go back to your base defense. And then you basically go to it from there. This is this what I'll do in this. This is exactly what I'll probably do in this uh in this instance. And then what, what they're gonna do, you already know what's coming. They're gonna try to go for the aggressive catch. You're going to throw it up. Webb's in better position. That's exactly what happens. And that's how you shut down these offenses in Madden 17. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what y'all want to see in part four. People ask me how to stop the run and how to stop aggressive catch for this one. I will be making a part four. Just let me know what y'all want to see. Like and comment below. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It Let's.